Blessed be you guys and ghouls. It's me again. I'm back and I'm here with another DIY video. I don't know about you, but I've been kind of obsessed with those gorgeous terrariums on Pinterest, the ones that have like little spooky scenes in them. So when I saw these guys at the 99 cent store, I couldn't resist the opportunity to create my own. We're gonna be making two today. One is gonna have a spooky witchy scene. The other one is going to have lots of little toasteros in it for the kids room. So onward. To make our terrariums, this is what you're going to need. You are going to need your terrariums. I found these at the 99 cent store. Dried moss. You're gonna need something that looks like dirt. I'm using aquarium gravel that I had on hand from our tarantula. However, you can also use clean dirt from the outside like potting soil or sand. Duct tape. Battery operated fairy lights, courtesy of Amazon. Extra batteries just in case. I found these ones from Ikea. Three dimensional cardboard butterflies. A resin Totoro figurine. More figurines of Totoros, mushrooms, soot sprites, etc. Resin deer skulls, various crystals and geodes, and a pretty stick, or in my case, some bark. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is turn around our terrarium, and you'll notice that here in the corner is a drainage hole used when you put plants inside. However, we are going to cover this up using some duct tape. This way, our sand or soil or whatever it is you're using won't fall through the hole. Next, we're gonna take a small jar and use that to scoop out some of our aquarium gravel and pour it into the terrarium. This will make our soil layer. Next, we're gonna take the dried moss and break it up and place it inside of our terrariums, fluffing it up as we go. Now, I'm aiming for each of these layers to be about an inch so that you can clearly see each layer through the frame of the terrarium. Next, I'm gonna test out my fairy lights and make sure that they work, replacing the batteries as needed. I'm going to attach the switch of the battery-operated fairy lights to the side of the terrarium out of view using scotch tape. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna fill my terrarium with the various doodads that I had gathered earlier, making it look pretty in the process.
Using a pair of wire cutters, feel free to trim the excess wire from the cardboard butterflies until they are the proper length to fit inside your terrarium. Once that's completed, drape and articulate the fairy lights in a way where they float around inside of your terrarium. The wires of these lights are pretty stiff and moldable, making it very, making it somewhat easy. And now I'll do the same with the Totoro terrarium. Now, with these figures, some of them are quite small and light plastic, so I found it a little hard to make them stay in place until I had the brilliant idea of using the wire I had cut from the butterflies and gluing them to the bottom of the mushrooms, etc., so that I could stick them in the soil and make them arranged in the way I wanted to.
Now you'll notice right here I am attempting to do this with super glue which did not work at all but then my husband suggested that I tried using hot glue which worked so well I ended up doing it with all of the figurines.
I then proceeded to drape the fairy lights into the top of this terrarium so that it looked like Totoro was sitting underneath a starry sky. And there you have it. These are our two terrariums. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this. To be honest, this was far easier than I was expecting. So I hope you all summon up the courage to attempt to do this yourself because these are just so, so pretty. And these were a slam dunk craft. I hope you guys enjoyed making these terrariums with me. I can't wait to put them in my living space and enjoy them for years to come. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the description down below and feel free to tag us on Instagram, Facebook, or wherever, as long as you link it below with your own spooky terrarium creations. Stay spooky.